Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about Freegal, which is the library's free music app. Today we are going to walk through the basics of how to use it on your phone. I'm using an Android phone um, or a Google phone, but Freegal is also available on Apple devices or computers with an internet connection. To download Freegal, we are going to go to the Google Play Store, which is the icon on the top left there. Um, you could also download this on an app on the App Store on your Apple phone, um, or you could go to freegalmusic.com online. I'm going to click on or tap on whoops, the Play Store, and I'm going to type in Freegal. And Freegal Music, wow, if I could type it in, right? Freegal Music is going to pop right up. So you can just tap on that second result there if you don't want to type in the whole thing, um, though you certainly could if you wanted to. So here it is. Um, I'm going to tap install and it's going to install for me. Hopefully it goes fast enough. You'll need an internet connection to do this um, through your phone. So if it's giving you trouble, that could be what's going on. All right, so it is all done. I'm going to tap open on the right there, that green button. And it's going to open this for me. Okay. You do not have to allow Freegal to access your location. It sometimes helps it find your library. So if you would rather it um, find your library for you, um, you can allow it. I'm going to hit deny because that's just my personal preference. Um, I'm going to type in um, Herrick here. You can type in so many different things. so much trouble with typing and oops didn't find it with Herrick so I'm gonna go back if I had read the instructions it would have said zip code city or ha or country below so I'll type in 49423494 and there we are we're a third one down from the top so here we are Herrick District Library tap that third one and now is when it's going to ask for your library card number and your PIN number. So I will type mine in real quick, although I will skip ahead um, because um, we like to keep library card numbers private. So we'll skip ahead in a couple seconds here. Okay, so we're in. Um, just in case you weren't sure or you'd forgotten, your PIN number is probably the last four digits of your phone number or whatever phone number we've got. Um, so try that or any old phone numbers if you're having trouble logging in. Um, okay, so here we are in Libby. Um, in the app, it's going to show you all of this featured stuff. So that top playlist there, um, these are compilations of songs that all have to do with usually whatever season you're in. So right now you can see that there's some country Thanksgiving songs. Um, if you click on one, I'm going to click on Thanksgiving. It's just going to come up with a whole list um, of songs that are free. You can download all of these songs or you could just listen. Right now, um, because of COVID, you have unlimited streaming time. So if I wanted to play this, you could press the blue stream button in the center there. And it's going to start playing this song for me. Very slow. So that was anticlimactic. I'm going to hit pause in the bottom right there to stop. You can also shuffle play if you want it to change um, the order. You don't want it to go straight down. Um, so this is kind of like basically radio if you want to listen to that. It's an alternative to Spotify. Um, there are no ads or anything like that. If you liked one of the songs, you can click these three buttons on the side. So say we liked the song Pilgrims here. When I tap those little three dots on the right, this comes up. You can, you can download it. You get five downloads per month or I'm sorry, per week. Um, you can, the second choice is add to streaming playlist. So you can add it to your own playlist if you would like, you can create your own. Or the third option is to add to your wish list, which is basically a way to keep track of the songs that you would like to download in the future. If you're at your five per week limit, you can wait until next week to download this one. So I'm gonna tap the X to get rid of this. Oops, that's my screen recorder. Hopefully that goes away in a second. Um, so that is how you do playlists. I'm going to tap this back arrow at the top left there that says featured and then there's a little backwards arrow. That's going to take us back to the home page here. So now you'll see that there's an updated bar at the top. It's no longer featured playlists. That's right below it. 
Right now we're looking at recently played, so you can kind of keep track of what's recently played. Another way to get here, right above in the blue area where it's we're on featured, but to its right it says recently played. We can go there as well. There's the wish list we were talking about. These are all the ones on my wish list, my personal wish list. So we'll go back to featured. If I wanted to browse, we're going to take our attention back to the bottom of the screen where there's the little music note um, that says browse. I'm going to tap on it. Um, so browse is organized by like what's popular. So right now what's trending is right at the top. So it goes by albums, but you can also scroll down here and see the top songs and top playlists, etc. Um, so if I tap view all for top songs, I could see the full list. Um, same with top albums. Um, there's new arrivals, genres. If you wanted to browse by genre, say you like blues. Here's all of the blues, top blues songs. But again, it's organized by popularity. So it's just kind of what people are looking at the most. I'm going to go back to the bottom now. We're going to go to the right of the music note and click on the little magnifying glass that says search. I'm going to search for Beyonce. And it's going to come up with Beyonce the Artists, songs by Beyonce. So we'll tap on Beyonce. There you go. Pet the back button. Then lastly, we'll have my music, which if I have downloaded songs, whoops, we'll deny that. Okay. Um, you can pull up all of the songs that you have downloaded recently and um, sometimes you can there's options you can do with them but we won't go into that in this video I'm gonna go back to search save my Beyonce search we'll try a different one um, no we'll just stick with Beyonce okay so let's say I would like to download this song. I'm going to hit those three dots on the right, pull this up, and I will hit download. This is where it wants me to allow the permissions, which I will do, otherwise it won't download for me. Downloads in progress. So now it is in my music in, um, on my phone. So this is where I would go to whatever app that I use on my phone to play my music and I should be able to find it in my device storage. So that will look different for every phone. Um, you'll have to know your phone or whatever device you're using this on well enough to be able to find that. If you were doing it on the computer, um, it should have downloaded to your downloads folder and from there you can move it anywhere you want to move it. So we'll head back to the home page. Um, that's pretty much the basics of Freegal. You get five credits per week. Um, if you're using it on your phone, there are push notifications that remind you when you have new downloads or your downloads are um, expiring soon, so they can you can remind yourself when you need to download stuff. Um, it won't remind you on your computer if you're using it on a computer. Um, it's got a lot of stuff here. Um, there's some popular artists, so if you're looking to download something for free, it's worth a checkout to see if your favorite song is on here. Um, but yeah, if you have any more questions, um, we are happy to help if you give us a call at the library or email us. Um, with all of your questions, we'd love to help you out.